Okay, so they claim she's uh, in the Presidium. Let's just go around until we see some criminal activities. That would still work. Alright, not trying to talk to that. Thanks, trying to run. I've told you before, you're not allowed in here. Which one believes it has the right to move freely through this area? You're creating a public disturbance. It's against Citadel regulations. This Do you desire to learn of the Enkindlers? Or has the Honorable CSEC officer enlisted assistance? Why is the CSEC officer harassing you? The CSEC officer requests that this one purchase an evangelical permit to spread the truth of the Enkindlers. Who are the Enkindlers? Your people know them as the Protheans. They are the true creators of this one's people. The Enkindlers raised the Hanar from ignorance into consciousness by granting this one's people the gift of speech. So you're breaking the law by preaching without a permit right now? The CSEC officer states that preaching in this place is forbidden, and preaching anywhere on the Citadel requires a permit. This one humbly submits that it is not preaching to state the truth of the Enkindlers, and thus no permit should be necessary. If that's all the CSEC officer wants, why not just buy the permit? The truth of the Enkindlers is universal. This one humbly believes that the truth should not be suppressed. Exacting payment as a means of imposing limits upon the truth is an abrogation of this one's religious freedom. Let me talk to the CSEC officer. Perhaps I can explain the situation. This one would be most grateful for the assistance. That Hanar refuses to listen to reason. Why can't it act in an orderly and lawful manner? He should be more tolerant. It's just trying to express its beliefs. I am not unreasonable. The Hanar is free to spew its nonsense once it purchases an evangelical permit. So if the Hanar gets a permit, it's allowed to preach? No. Registered evangelicals must follow regulations. <laughs> there are specific areas where preaching is legal. Failure to follow the regulations results in the forfeiture of the license. What's the purpose behind the evangelical permits? Forcing religious evangelicals to register for a permit weeds out undesirables. It keeps the area safe. The Citadel is too important to become a battleground for a religious war. If you'd like, I could talk to the Hanar for you. I have argued with the stubborn jelly all afternoon. You are certainly welcome to try. Has the CSEC officer been assuaged? Is this really how you want to represent the Enkindlers? The truth of the Enkindlers must be made known. They gave the Hanar language and gave the universe the mass relays. This one only wishes to spread the truth to any who will listen. There is no intent to cause trouble. Is this how the Enkindlers would want you to use this gift of consciousness? The Enkindlers would wish for their message to be spread to all sentient races. The Enkindlers wouldn't wish their message to be spread by breaking society's laws. This one hears wisdom. Perhaps enthusiasm has clouded judgment in this matter. Brings me this out one glow. departs now, and will not intrude upon the Presidium again. I see the Hanar is left. Thank you. Happy to help. Here, for your assistance in this matter. Now, if you'll excuse me, I should report to my superiors. Okay, he gave us Omni Gel. I was gonna say, if this police officer just gave us cash, that's <laughs> probably frowned upon. Uh, ooh. Does this go? Tower.
Well, I had never come over here, so interesting. Oh, nice pose. Wait, Rebecca Perchisovsky? Where's that? I I'm telling you, this is not what Jake would want. I don't care what you think, Michael. It's my decision. Yeah, Michael. I know you're hurting, Rebecca, but don't let your grief hurt your baby, too. Can I help with anything? Perhaps you can talk some sense into her. I don't need anyone to talk sense into me, Michael. I'm not undergoing the treatments. My sister-in-law here is pregnant, and she's refused to let the baby undergo gene therapy in utero. I'm certain that she has a good reason. I'd like to hear both sides. My husband Jacob died from a rare heart condition several months ago. There's a chance that the baby could develop the same heart condition, but routine gene therapy can eliminate it. A very small chance, Michael. And extranet reports say the therapy could harm the child. It's less dangerous than the genetic enhancements that every soldier in the Alliance receives. What are the chances that your child will develop the heart condition? According to the doctors, there's a 1 in 50 chance. And if my baby develops the condition, medical treatments are available. Okay. Which are nowhere near as effective as simply getting the gene therapy. Damn, Michael, what calm are the down, that dog. Gene therapy could hurt the baby. One in 300 at most. But extranet articles say there could still be long-term complications we don't know about. Don't you understand? If my baby is that one in 300, I will always wonder if I... If, if I killed my baby for nothing. It's Rebecca's child, Michael. I think you should honor her decision. Damn it, she's not choosing. She's acting blindly out of grief. Still her choice. Dude. I know you want the best for your brother's child, but this is not your decision. Of course it is! I'm the closest thing to a father this baby is going to have. Oh, snap! Then support the baby's mother. Stand with her when she makes the tough decisions. This baby is the only thing my brother... It's all I have left of him. I need to know that the baby's safe. It's all I have left, too, Michael. I just want Jacob's child to be safe. I want to give him that much. We will. I promise. Thank you for talking with us. I appreciate it. Damn, level up all day, every day, baby. Two, uh, two levels. Um, um. Iris. And electronics. See, first aid suck. Okay. We have yet to find the criminal. So I found out last night that after um, after I stopped playing that you uh, the consort the weird scene where she's like touching you and it seems really weird you can have uh sex with her 
if you like choose the right option and that is actually the clip that they used on Fox News for the whole like Mass Effect is a weird alien sex uh, simulator. So too bad we missed out on that, huh? But also the option that you have to choose when I looked it up like makes no sense. Like I don't know why it would lead to that and I don't it makes no sense. I went very often when it was still the Arcos. Yeah, ever since this took over, I don't go anymore. It seems like all the best lounges are being replaced by places like Cora's Den. This is dead, dude. You should not be saying this anymore. Interesting back room filled with nothing. What? Last seen near the Emporium, which is where we are right now, right? Yeah. Is that you? Are you the person? Yeah, Helena Blake. Got okay, why well, wasn't it popping Spectre? up before? Hello, Spectre. I have a business proposition for you. How did you know I'm a Spectre? Word travels. Your name comes up in certain circles. I'm acquainted with a pair of powerful crime bosses. They're hiding on remote worlds, and I have the coordinates. You could do the galaxy a favor. What crimes did these men commit? They're red sand dealers who make victims of their customers. Those who can no longer pay are sold to Batarians as slaves. They're loathsome, hurting innocent people. They must be ended. I eliminate them and then you take over and try to eliminate me. How stupid do I look? While I appreciate your estimation of my bravado, I have no intention of attempting to murder you. You are the first human specter, and you are doing important work for humanity. I have no interest in red sand or slavery. Anyone who does deserves to die. Our needs are aligned. But why are you being... You're the one? And what do you get out of this? That they we they share investigating. interests in certain cooperative ventures. But their business practices have forced me to terminate our relationship. Once they are dead, I will manage our organization in a more tasteful manner. If they're as bad as you say they are, they need to be dealt with. Excellent. Here are the coordinates. When these men are dead, I will wait for you at the third set of coordinates. Goodbye, Commander. It's been a pleasure to meet you. Cool, cool. So she is setting us up, and we did get two Renegade. That's not the best. Two out of ten Asari writings, one out of thirteen emblems. Oh my god. Slayer tanks. Power. Oh boy. And this researchers. Well, find the commune and the reading and blah blah blah. Okay. Where's the rapid transit? We'll go to the wards. Then the tower. 
and then we will uh, return to space. They told me it was you, but I didn't believe it. Shepard grew up and turned into a soldier. Have we met? <laughs> Name's Finch. You probably don't remember me, but we ran together in the 10th Street Reds. Maybe you don't remember it yourself, running in a gang. None of the vids mention it when they're talking about you. My history's a matter of public record. I got nothing to hide. Really? What if someone gave an interview talking about Commander Shepard's history in the gangs? We're not trying to cause you trouble, Shepard. We just want a favor, for old time's sake. One of the Reds, Kurt Wiseman, got picked up by Turians. We'd like you to talk to the Turian guard in the bar and get Kurt out. What was this guy arrested for? Some stupid minor offense. Maybe he had a little red sand. You know how the Turians are. They declared him a problem, and they're shipping him back for a trial. You're not asking me to break Wiseman out of jail, are you? Of course not. But word has it you've got some pull with the aliens. All we're asking you to do is pull a little for us. What was one of the 10th Street Reds doing in Turian space? Since your days, the Reds have expanded. We do some salvage, a little shipping here and there, that kind of thing. I'll talk to the Turian and see what I can do. Thanks, Shepard. I knew you'd remember your old friends. The guard's over in Korra's den. Take care of this, and you'll never see me again. Okay. Well, we're probably gonna find out that he's, like, selling Red Sand or doing some heinous shit in Turian territory, and then, uh, we'll say, cool, keep him arrested. Have fun. And I wonder if Femshep has the same dance animation as Male Shepherd, because that's what I really want. Can I help you? A human named Finch wanted me to use my authority as a specter to free Kurt Wiseman. The xenophobe? I should have known he'd have friends. <laughs> Thank you for the information. We'll increase the guard in his cell. I knew you'd rat us out, Shepard. Now it's payback time. When we're through telling our story, the aliens will all know what the first human specter really is. If you want humanity to be strong, a smear attack on the first human specter is a bad idea. The specter is right. This is humanity's <laughs> chance to prove itself. There's even talk of earning a council seat. Of course you'd side with Shepard. You want someone who's in bed with your kind. We need the other races, Finch. That's the best way to strengthen humanity. Fine, Shepard. Charlie's back You're there right. with her crazy You're eyes, not man. One of the oh. reds. Maybe you never were. That man is a xenophobe who thinks he can blackmail a specter. You should have killed him. That's not the way I work. Goodbye, human. It'll be interesting to see what kind of specter you turn out to be. 900 experience? I got business here, but not with you. Not now. I'm watching the show. Watching the show. Got anything cool and new to say, Harkin? No? Still suck? Cool. Man, after we killed everyone in here, it sure repopulated quickly. Nope, nope, no, 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 no. Always trying to run, and then that stuff happens.
this isn't a proof of purchase. It's a bank statement. It shows that I bought something from you, and I bought it. Well, thank you for buying from me, but this still... Hey, come on. There are rumors on the extranet that you've been made the first human specter. That's incredible. Being a specter is a big responsibility. I just want to make humanity proud. The vids are all talking about Commander Shepard fighting for all of us back home. And your grace and skill have inspired a whole legion of admirers, too. Hey, can I get your picture? I don't have a problem with it, but why? Are you kidding? Nobody will believe that I talked with the beautiful Commander Shepard unless I get a picture. All right, Just this guy's turning into gun. a creep show. Perfect. Thanks again, Commander. I'm gonna hang this in my living room. My wife will love it. Probably not. Probably not. Okay, this guy's turning into a real creep show. So we've got that going on. Last time he just wanted an autograph, which was all right. Oh, that's an elevator. S swing around. Anybody got anything? Stupid cats. Jeez. Okay, the dock. We don't a need few of anything. My people have visited here on their pilgrimage, but their descriptions of the wards hardly do them justice. Sir Lang still chilling down here. Really, there's no transit thing. go to the tower to let that dude know we found his dead soldiers I hope he's okay I'm on a break talk to someone else if you need anything I've got a lot on my mind maybe I can help hmm well maybe you can you're a soldier, right? You ever head out to the Traverse? The Traverse is a rough place. We're out there quite a bit. My brother's the captain of a ship called the Majesty. It was crossing the Traverse a few days ago when it disappeared. Just dropped right off the grid. And that usually means one of two things. They had massive mechanical failure, or they were attacked. Any idea why someone would attack them? Privateers, slavers, mercs looking for an easy score. There's a lot of nasty sorts out in the Traverse. I won't give up on my brother. Not yet. I've got the coordinates for the last transmission from his vessel. What kind of ship was it? Don't let the name fool you. The Majesty's just a small trading vessel, only a handful of crew. But he kept it in good condition. I don't think mechanical failure is too likely. But they don't have any real weapons or shields. If anyone did come after them, the Majesty'd be a sitting duck. Isn't anyone else looking into this? My brother's just a small, independent trader. Ships like his disappear in the Traverse all the time. If your brother is still alive, I'll find him. Give me the coordinates. I'll forward them to your ship right away. Please let me know as soon as you find him. I really appreciate what you're doing for me. Right, Please so let me know is... as soon as you find any information on my brother. Back there. Not too many people have free access to the tower. Even less get permission to meet the council. No, I'm waiting to speak with one of the council. Commander Shepard, isn't it? My name is Admiral Kahoku. Is there something I can do for you? Found your man, dog. You sent a recon team out into the Artemis Tau cluster? Yes, that's right. They went missing a few days ago. I've been trying to find out what happened to them, but I keep getting the runaround from Alliance Brass. Do you know something about this, Commander? I'm not sure how to tell you this, Admiral. 
Your men were killed by a thresher maw. A thresher maw? That's not... My men wouldn't just stumble into a thresher nest. Not the entire unit. Somebody lured them there with an alliance distress beacon. Placed it perfectly so they'd land right beside the thresher nest. Damn it. I had a bad feeling about this ever since my team disappeared. An alliance beacon used as bait, my unit wiped out, and nobody seems to know anything about it. Commander, I appreciate what you did. Now I need to do my part. The families of those Marines deserve to know why they died. Anything you need from me? Not right now, Shepard, but I'll let you know as soon as I find something out. Damn, we're getting so much experience? Holy crap. Alright. I still find it to be insane that we cannot, uh... We can't just teleport right to the Normandy or the docking station. We have to go to C-Sec and then take this dumbass elevator. And then half the time they don't even Binary talk. Helix has settled out of court with a Krogan group that had accused the Genetics Corporation of fraud. The Krogan group had contracted Binary Helix to perform studies with a long-range goal of curing their genetic sterilization. The group later sued for a return of investment money when the study produced no viable results. Alright, so I am going to go back to those two planets so we can see if those beacons actually give us anything worthwhile hopefully hopefully stand by shore party decontamination in progress logged the commanding officer is aboard exo presley stands relieved Message coming in. Patching it through. Commander, Ms. Algelani's story on you just aired. She shouldn't have ambushed you like that. But you handled it pretty well. Who the hell is this? We had differences of opinion, sir. I hope she at least believed my sincerity. You handled yourself pretty well, Commander. She came across like a raving idiot. There is one other matter, however. The Citadel has been trying to play down Saren going rogue. It makes the Spectres look bad. Well, too late. Your mention of him was politically inconvenient. I wasn't aware of that. I won't discuss him again, sir. I'd appreciate that, Commander. I won't keep you any longer. Fifth Fleet out. What was that? Okay. One was here. Or no, this was Liara's... Fuck. Can't skip this either. Message for you, Commander. Just came in over a secure channel. Shepard, this is Admiral Kahoku. I found out who set that trap for my men. The ones killed by the Thresher Moor. Damn, I hope you get this message. It was a group called Serpers. Oh! An Alliance Black Ops organization. Top secret, highest level security clearance. They vanished a few months ago. Dropped right off the grid. Nobody knew where they went or what they were up to. They've gone completely rogue, Shepard. They're conducting illegal genetic experiments, trying to create some kind of super soldier. I don't have any proof, but I found the coordinates for one of their research worlds. I'm uploading them with this message. They're completely out of control. Somebody needs to stop them. I've done my part. Now it's up to you. This is... This is probably the last you'll hear from me. Cerberus is after me now. I need to disappear before they find me. Damn. 
Does Mass Effect 2 tie in? Alright, which one was it? So we can go to the debris. And with Tali's skill, we should be able to do it. My wheel's already damaged upon landing. That's some good shit. I shouldn't have tried to go straight over this mountain, but that's just how it works. This is not going to be worth it. <gasps> no. Dream off roading. No need to give a shit about those anymore. Unless it started a, a quest of some kind. I don't think it did. No, 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 no. Mm, wait, no, no, no. All right, never again. Who cares about the probes? Not me. Uh, Alright, well. I'm probably going to stream for like another... 20-ish minutes? 25-ish minutes? So I won't start the next true mission. I guess... We can... See, it doesn't show the... It doesn't show where the side quests are, which is a bummer. They fix that in two. It does show where the side quests are. Matriarch's writings recovered. He recovered a strange object of reading Ploba. Chief Engineer Adams and Tali tried to unsuccessfully determine its origin. They did, however, find Matriarch Dilinga's writing stored within. Trying to hide from me, I see. Rare element surveyed. Uranium. I did this one? Yeah.
Max and get rid of this. The next main story mission I do will probably be the one where you go after Liara's mom, Benezia. Because when I did it originally, that's the mission that I did first, and I did not have Liara there, but I bet there is a cool conversation if you have her there with her mom, so... Next time I'll do that. The wheels did not get damaged this time. That's pretty sick. Oh, smashing the table with my leg. It's a motherfucking probe. That I won't be able to access because I didn't bring Tali. Oh, never mind. Turing and Signia recovered. There are no signs of any survivors. The pod is empty except for a small tattered flag marked with the Nemez colony insignia. Wait, what? Turing insignia recovered. You found an intricate beaded necklace marked with the Galactica colony insignia. It appears to be very old. So two insignias then, I guess? That seems odd. Oh, no, no, no. It's one strong pod. Motherfucker, we're not fighting that Thresher Maw. Tell you that right now. Run for it. Nobody's been here for a while. Got it. Let's crack a leg and... Kill a barrel. According to these data logs, the survey team unearthed some kind of alien technology. Could be answers at the excavation site. Interesting. What do we got 
got going on here? Whoa, mad husks, holy shit. Get up, Shepard! Oh my god, what? Okay. Don't let that happen. A lot of husks. I'm gonna save right in here. Where the fuck are my homies? They stayed outside, I guess? Guys, where the fuck are you? Fuck me. They're having too much fun in the other room, I guess. team must have unearthed some alien technology that turned them into mindless fanatics. Whatever they found, it's long gone now. Come on, you morons. Jesus. Oh my god. What? <laughs> That's insane. Oh. Nothing else in here that we can do. These are both locked. Oh no, they're open now. Oh fuck. Oh god, they both opened. The real question is, are Garrison Rex gonna be more unhelpful than helpful? Overheat. Husk party. We need a better heat sink. That accounts for all the Exogeny survey team. They were converted to cybernetic husks by devices similar to those used by the Geth on Eden Prime. How they came to be buried on a frontier world so far from Geth territory is a mystery. It's not a mystery to me, I understand it, but spoilers. Hopefully there's some chests in here. Sick. 
Oh no, we can't run. We just do the. Oh, there's a run. Yeah, we can only do the light jog. Explore the rest of the planet. Find out what that anomaly is, but first we'll save. The planet exploration is alright. I mean, like, as much as I dislike fighting in the Mako, um, I don't know, it's kind of cool to just, like, stumble upon something like that and be like, oh, what happened? And then you go through a little mini quest and figure it out. Like, I mean, there's nothing exciting about this right now, the Mako. Like, we're just going over a bunch of desert with no enemies and no nothing. Device is transmitting tight beam signals into geosynchronous orbit. This disrupts the survey team's GPS satellites, causing them to crash nearby. Not like what we were asked to do. Is that even helpful? Oh, yeah. Skyrim up this baby. Russian mob here, probably. Looks like there are enemies there. Got him. Okay. We did it. bring Rex instead of Tali, but it doesn't make sense.
and I'm, I mean, I'm just missing out on a bunch of randomly generated loot anyways. But I shouldn't care, but I do care. Let's see. We'll explore this a little bit, and I'll call it a stream. Nope, not true. Syndicate hideout. So this is one of those things that lady wanted us to do. I believe so. Whoa, that's not how physics work. Looks like there are quite a few gentlemen over there. Could you fail to survey a mineral? That's all I'm saying. Save right before this encounter in case it gets fucked up. Whoa, whoa, whoa. None of that's doing what it should be. Cannon's busted. So there's that. A big fan. Alright, let's take him out. Hopefully it's not just a bunch of husks. That fight was annoying. Alright guys, remember how doors work this time? I have faith in you. All right, reusing assets. Already a good sign. Go, go, go. For you. For you. Go, go, go. Okay. Go, go, go. Shields down. Hold the line. Enemies everywhere. Enemies everywhere. Rex, shoot this gentleman, you fucking moron. Good to go, Commander. I will let my health regen for a sec. Boy, the global cooldowns sure are insane. I will destroy you! 
Feisty. I will destroy you. Whoa, 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 whoa. Who is yelling enemies are everywhere? I originally thought it was Garrus, but then it was happening when he was dead, unless that was a bug. Not now, Shepard. See, it doesn't sound anything like him. Is it the enemies? Whoa, whoa, whoa. They are not good with enemies running up on them. Let me tell you. The AI cannot take it. <laughs> Garrus and Rex are just like, what? Someone's right here. Crime Lord defeated. Helena was right. These guys had quite the operation going, but that's all going to change. One down, one more to go. Okay, they still have these two exact same rooms. Interesting. That one goes nowhere. Why even have the door open then? I think that texture's fucked up. Fuck. Upgrade kit, ooh. All right, quick. Let's explore the rest of this stupid planet, and then we'll call it. Quick, quick, quick. And then whenever I play next time, whether it be before next Sunday or next Sunday, I will go through and look at all the weapons and stupid things that I've received. Because I've picked up a butt ton of stuff that I have not looked at. I'm going to have to start writing down the places that we've actually gone to. So that I don't try to come to them again, because for some reason the plot symbols don't disappear. And even though I'm not bringing Tali, I, I'm still going to go to these debris, because they might be those pods like the, the other one, but I don't think that... Yeah? How am I supposed to park this then? I 
And someday Garrus will actually have electronics, so we will be okay eventually. But right now, I do not care. Get there. Get there, get there, get there, get there, get there. Another mummified Solarian? Medallion recovered. The dead traveler had a League of One medallion. Where he found it and what he was trying to do with it is unclear. Squad. Oh, we level up twice. We are the master of assault rifles. Now we can, can do other stuff. Uh, I'll say... Fitness. Jerus. Easy objects. Oh, regs, we got so much. Master of Carnage, that's for sure. I would like for you to have two more health. Barrier, warp. Krogan Battle Master. And then I guess another fit. Oh my god, and then it, the next level will decrease his damage taken by 50%. Rex is, he's just busted. He's so good. All right, well, we did a lot today. Three hours. Um... I'm having so much fun. I'm getting so absorbed in it. Love Mass Effect. But thank you guys for watching. I will be back sometime in the future. If not during the week, then definitely next Sunday. This is my new Hot Sunday game. My new Hot Sunday franchise, if you want to go that far. Um, yeah, we will continue exploring the galaxy next time. Ugh. Thanks for watching. Peace.